Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I was going to do a what sold on eBay video. However, my good camera still hasn't come back in yet. So I am still filming on the cell phone, which means I can't do that. So instead I figured I would just do a dedicated video on the stuff that has sold for me over the weekend because I have to pull these orders right now. You guys seem to like when I pull orders and show you what sold. So I figured I'd do a dedicated video. Let's see how this goes. I got about 35 ish items going out today and they're pretty cool. So let me show you. The first items going out today were actually a pretty cool one. Excuse me, Huckleberry, you need to move out the way. It was actually this entire bag of little Lord of the Rings figures. They're actually nice quality ones. There's a bunch of different ones in here. There were like 22 of them total. So this entire bag right here sold for 140 bucks. Not bad at all. Next down here in the bin of randomness was this. It's an Epoch Man. It's like a vintage Pac-Man game from like the 80s. It's from 1981. And this thing sold for 30 bucks. The next item here is a Chalkline Reg jacket, which will be over there in my closet. Let me go pull it out real fast. Yep. This jacket right here sold for 50 bucks. Now this specific jacket right here is a Cincinnati Reds chalk line jacket, but I wanted to point out that these vintage satin jackets like this can have some really, really good value. Some of them go for hundreds of dollars depending on what team it is, but in general, it's a good rule of thumb. If you can find them cheap at the thrift stores, you can usually expect at least 50 bucks out of them. Next, 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 we got a pair of running shorts. These four bags right here are all full of the same pair of Nike running shorts, and they've been selling pretty well. I picked up like 27 pairs of them at the world's longest yard sale for three bucks a piece, and I have them listed for 30. Someone sent me a best offer of 27.50. I accepted. Back down here into my box of random smalls is this little Sennheiser microphone case. Now, I normally wouldn't pick something like this up at a garage sale because it is a cheaper item. It only sold for 10 bucks. Now, typically when I am buying stuff to resell individual item wise, I'm looking for items that sell for above 20 bucks. And that's just the way I run my business. And that's because after I take the time to list and photograph and keyword and ship the items, it needs to be worth my time that I put into each and every item. However, there are a few cases where I will still end up with items worth under 20 bucks that I will still sell. And this was one of them. This was part of a bulk buy. So this was just a throw in item. I'm not adding any extra money into it. It's a good brand. It should still sell. So I picked it up to resell. And then aside from bulk purchasing, the only other ways that I come up with items that are worth like under 20 bucks are if it's a fast sell through item, like say a video game that'll sell for 15 bucks, but I'm buying it for a buck and I know it'll sell within three days. So it's a very fast flip for me. Then I'll pick it up or if it's an item that is a single item, but multiple quantities of that item. So I'm only creating one listing. So say I find a bunch of these hats to sell. I find like 30 of them. Then I can make one single listing for all 30 of those hats. I'm not putting in time for 30 individual items. It's all on one listing at that point. Then I will do it. And I'm not saying that's how you need to run your business. Do whatever works for you. That's just how I run mine. There's nothing wrong with it. If you buy items under 20 bucks and it works for you, do it. Next, got another pretty cool vintage toy up here. We got Kimberly from the Power Rangers from 1993, and this one sold for $55. Next over here in bin J, this is how I organize all my items. You can see all my bins have different letters on them. That's how I organize everything. But over here in bin J, we've got a polo shirt that needs to go out. This Jack Daniels polo I picked up the other week at a flea market for like three bucks, sold for 25. Next, we got this box of generic toner, sold for 40 bucks. Then I got a couple different video game manuals that need to go out today. The first of which is Banjo-Tooie right here for 20 bucks and Mario Kart 64, which sold for 15 bucks. Actually, I had to set aside Mario 64 as well. My buddy Adam's buying that one off me. Next is down here in bin V. I've got a scarf going out right here. This is a Half-Life 2 Portals 2 scarf and it sold for 20 bucks. Next up here in the video games, I've got a SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottoms video game went out for 17. In bin W, I've got a red and black Woolrich flannel. It's going out for 27.50. This guy right here, Woolrich flannel, buffalo plaid, 27.50. Woo, it's getting hot in here. I'm starting to sweat. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. So take off all your. No, I'm just messing. I ain't going to subject you guys to that. This next item, though. Best sale of the weekend. This box right here contains some LL Bean limited edition red duck boots. These are brand new, never been worn, and they sold for 175 bucks. 
And then I've actually got another pair of brand new duck boots, just like these ones, but a different limited edition colorway. And those ones are also listed for 200 bucks. So hopefully those ones will sell soon too. Up here though, we got some Pokemon cards that need to go out. I think they're in this box anyways. Actually, these ones might be the ones in the binder. There we go. This Beedrill sold for 20 and this Wobbuffet sold for 15. Now I may not be a Pokemon master yet, but I have been learning Pokemon cards and baseball cards and basketball cards pretty extensively over the last year as they've been just going crazy in value. They're starting to come down a little bit right now, but this stuff is still super highly priced and it's definitely something to look into if you've got some laying around. Got another Woolwich piece going out. It's in here in Ben G, oh, hold on. Here we go, this brand new with tags Woolrich flannel. It actually is like the same exact flannel as this one up here, but this one's new with tags. And this one sold for 45 bucks. Back over to our toy bin. Huckleberry, you're just in the way today, dude. Yeah, yeah, move. We got a action figure going out. Here we go, General Flag near complete sold for 1750. Back over into our jackets closet. This guy right here, this Woolrich double-breasted women's jacket actually sold to a viewer who goes by thrifting in New England. April, thank you for the support. I really appreciate the business and I hope you enjoy the jacket. Next is this Nike hooded jacket. It sold for 20 bucks. And then we got these Nike double distance golf balls. I just picked these up not long ago at a garage sale for five bucks. And I was really happy with this sale. They sold for $32.50. Golf is a category that I really want to learn. And it's something that I've been actively trying to get more involved in. So when I saw these, I figured I'd take a chance on them. And I was really happy with that sale, especially considering there were no sold comps on this. So I kind of had to just use my best judgment and listed them at $32.50. And they sold in like three days. The next one's over here in bin D and I can see it right on top right there. This LL Bean flannel shirt right here sold for 50 bucks. Then we've actually got another viewer order going out. This Epcot Center Walt Disney World hat sold to Mom and Pop Thrift, AKA Tom for 30 bucks. Thank you for the purchase. I really appreciate the order and I hope you guys like the hat. Next is another pretty good shoe sale. We got these Harley Davidson boots right here. They're like biker boots and these sold for 90 bucks. Harley Davidson stuff, man. Don't pass it up. This next one, I'm actually really happy to see this thing go. This is a Port Authority, just basic blue polo shirt. And the reason I'm happy to see this thing go is these were actually part of a bulk buy I bought out of print shop like two years ago. And there were like hundreds of these things in that bulk purchase. And I've been selling these at like 12 bucks a piece. And this is finally the last blue one to go out. I still got a few red ones left, but this is the final blue polo to go out from that buy. And I made some very good money on that whole transaction so glad to see this thing go this next one's another pretty cool vintage toy it should be right in here somewhere is that it yep tamagotchi this is the purple and pink tamagotchi brand new inbox and this thing sold for 47 dollars and 50 cents i've said it a few times in the last couple videos don't sleep on these little tamagotchis they got some money behind them all right almost done got a couple more items well hey chicken did you come help out with these last couple orders which one's your favorite order of the day? Oh, you like the Tamagotchi? Me too. All right, we're in the home stretch now. Next item are these Bose speakers right here, which sold for 35 bucks. Super Smash Brothers on the 3DS sold for 12. And finally, this World Politics textbook sold for $57. And then the only other things that are going out today are the Etsy sticker orders. So if you ordered a sticker in like the last month or so, the stickers are going out today. I should have had the shipment out before I went to Connecticut, but with all that packing and stuff, it just kind of got pushed by the wayside. So I apologize about that. But if you ordered a sticker using that link down below, those are going out today as well. Wouldn't you know, right when you think you're done, more orders come in. We got two more orders that just came through. Got another pair of these Nike shorts that sold for 25 bucks. And then an item I just listed it yesterday. Whoop, don't fall. This UNK like basketball logo t-shirt, which sold for $25. And this brand of shirt right here is normally not a brand that I pick up UNK, but just look how cool that pattern was. And that just shows that it's not always about the brand of the item. Sometimes you got to buy something just based on the style, just like this one. So overall, not a bad weekend. All of this stuff sold, except for Kitty. She didn't sell. We're not selling you, chicken. All of this stuff sold over the weekend. I'll put the total up on the screen right now. And then here is the net profit that we made after all fees and shipping.
So I know this style of what sold video is a little bit different than the ones I'm normally doing because I'm normally sitting in front of my computer screen showing you what solds, but this was more fun and more interactive. So I hope that you guys all enjoyed this style of video. If you did, let me know down in the comments right now. Otherwise, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you in the next one. Keep on treasure hunting. Peace. Say bye to the camera, kitty. Watch.